An extensive collection of political cartoons dating back more than a century is on display at the Tampa Museum of Art. It's an amazing medium to use because it's so powerful, you know. Charles Mahan, professor emeritus and former dean of the University of South Florida's College of Public Health, has his own original drawing in the exhibit, which ignited his passion for political cartoons. Mahan donated the comic strips, animations, and political cartoons that he has carefully collected over his lifetime to the University of South Florida's Tampa Campus Library in 2006. Well, I started out by being a cartoonist myself. I taught myself to draw by tracing when I was a little kid. And uh, so that got me really interested in, you know, looking at the comic strips every day and the cartoons in the New Yorker and the editorial cartoons in the Pittsburgh paper. And I just, you know, developed a really strong interest in all that. The visual, politically influential medium was originally drawn with pen on thick paper, but recently color, computer illustrations have become more popular. Because they're visual and lots of people are more likely to be visual than to dig into the, you know, the editorial pieces that are written, they can be pretty powerful. The collection includes cartoon icons like Thomas Nast, who helped shape the political landscape 115 years ago. He's the one who invented the Republican elephant and the Democratic donkey. A lot of things people can pick up fast because it's an image or an icon that they know is supposed to mean that. And so that helps move along the whole idea of the thing. It doesn't necessarily mean that people are uh, trying to present a balanced argument. As a matter of fact, the better ones really tick people off. The museum exhibition coincides with the Republican National Convention that will be held in Tampa at the end of August. As the cartoon historian who went back and actually looked at the historical background behind these cartoons, I can tell you there's some fascinating Fascinating stuff. Not Larry Bush has conducted extensive research at USF on the editorial cartoons and the impact that they've had on American society over the last century. What the uh, cartoons do is instead of talking about or demonstrating the facts of history, they demonstrate the passions of history, how people felt. They reflect that part of history that is so often lost in our history books, we can go back and we can look at these cartoons and understand a little bit more about the political process and political feelings and the competition. One of the cartoons in the exhibit, it's contemporary, shows this giant chasm in Washington and an elephant standing on one side and a donkey standing on the other side and they're, they're both essentially trying to kill each other and it sort of represents the uncompromising state of affairs that we're in now, which is pretty unusual. The Art of the Poison Pens exhibit will be here on display at the Tampa Museum of Art through mid-September and could travel around to other museums throughout the country. The Charles Mahan collection, including the animations, comic strips, and political cartoons, will then be stored in the special collection section of the University of South Florida Library. For USF News, I'm Katie Hennig.